So let's start from where we ended off. In the last two videos, my strategy was strictly cold calling and cold emailing. That was the only thing that I was doing. And while I did close my first client that way, after I posted that last video, I really quickly realized that this is not a great way of closing clients in this industry. For one, it's incredibly time consuming. I spent dozens of hours messaging hundreds of different real estate agents. I would try different subject lines, try different email approaches, and still the best response rate that I could get was about one in a hundred agents. I'm not kidding out of six to seven hundred emails i think i got less than 10 replies altogether none of which ended up being a yes and i would even follow up my emails to these agents by telling them i would do a photo shoot for completely free and even then i couldn't get more than a few replies that basically just told me to f off in a polite way so after that i sort of just came to the conclusion that emails are not worth the time and phone calls while they can be a good way to get your phone in the door and have a, a personal interaction with a realtor uh, i just don't think they're ideal for trying to sell a service that's focused around photo photo and video because how are you going to show them your work? The realtors that I'm trying to go after now are the ones that are pretty successful, that are selling houses consistently, therefore can give me consistent work. And I've realized that nine times out of 10, that means that they probably already have a company or a photographer that they've been working with or that they have an idea of going to every time they need a photo shoot. So for me to call up these agents and then tell them to check out my portfolio and then have them email me back, it's just asking way too much of them. And I figured the best chance I had at even getting these people to consider working with me is to make that entire process as easy as possible. Be able to show them my portfolio and then have them respond to me very quickly. And I thought the best platforms that I can do this on are LinkedIn and Instagram. It took me a while to realize this, but realtors take their Instagrams very seriously. A lot of them are posting daily, posting multiple times a day, stories, you name it. And this is perfect because only a few days before this, I realized that real estate agents that post listings on Zillow, they have the option to link their Instagrams and their LinkedIn's and their Facebooks, which makes it so easy to find them. The strategy I was doing before was like going on different real estate websites and then trying to search their name and find their Instagrams. This made the entire process so easy. And I also realized once I get to these realtor Instagrams, most of the time they're also following hundreds of other realtors in the area. So that following list for me is like a huge lead list that would take me probably hours with the other method I was trying. So I got some of the best photos that I had from taking pictures of my house, from the last job that I did, some pictures and videos of family friends houses. Um, and I just put everything I could on the Instagram. So I had a portfolio of the work that I've done so far. And I just got to DMing every single agent that I could. And right away, I noticed that the response rate on Instagram is way better. Emails always have this weird robotic feeling where there's like this over professionalism with the hellos and the sincerely's. On Instagram, I made my messages super short and simple. I said, hey, we are a real estate media company. We would love to do some photo and video stuff for you in the future. Check out our profile. That's it. And at the same time as I was DMing people on Instagram, I finally got on LinkedIn. And oh my God, I waited way too long to join LinkedIn. The sales navigator tool on this platform is a complete game changer. I went from looking for people for hours on different real estate websites to just pressing a few buttons, a few keywords, and having a huge lead list of people who are perfect for me to target. The main lead list that I made was people who work in real estate are either a broker or an agent or like a real estate specialist who have been in the industry for five or less years, but more than one year and who work for a company with less than 50 people. And the reason I decided to target this demographic is because I figured people who have worked in the industry for less than five years and who work for a smaller company, they're probably still sort of trying to get momentum. They're not as solidified as someone who's been in it for 20 years and who works for like a Remax or something would be. I figured if anybody is gonna give a small new media company a chance, uh, it's probably gonna be these people. It's not gonna be the 20, 30 year old veterans in real estate. It's free real estate. Uh, and that's what I did. So I just messaged people on Instagram and on LinkedIn for weeks, hoping someone would bite. And eventually they did. You like that? So the first job I did was this tiny little house. Um, and this was probably the definition of a humble beginning. This house had absolutely nothing inside. It was just the framing. So I did some interior and exterior photos for the realtor, which you're looking at now. I also got to do some drone shots for the first time, which was a lot of fun. After that, I also got to do a couple of uh, apartment building shoots around Toronto. You can check out some of these before and afters. Working with the sky replacement and some of the AI tools on Luminar is really cool and really changes the look of a lot of the pictures, which which I had a lot of fun editing these. 
After that, I also shot this tiny apartment building with one bedroom and a kitchen that's part of the living room. I also worked with a Matterport for the first time on this shoot. If you haven't seen these things before, they're really cool. Uh, this is how you make those virtual tours that you see online where you can click through and go through an entire house. But the biggest job that we got in the past couple of months didn't come from any of the LinkedIn outreach or the Instagram DMs or the emails. It actually came from Google ads. I've been testing different ads on different platforms like Facebook and Google since the first episode, but I've had a hard time finding any success with it. For some reason, I'm not entirely sure about Facebook and Google are just not very friendly to advertisers in the real estate niche. On Facebook, we had a video that was running for about a week until it got blocked for an unexplained reason. Reason. Then we tried to run a picture ad that wouldn't even publish in the first place. On Google, I tried different ad campaigns and all of them would end up with the green enabled status, but every single time it would just stick with the green enabled button and then never spend any money or run the ads. I would contact Google support and try to get answers. They would tell me it looks like there's nothing wrong with the ad, so they would fix it. And then a few days later, the same problem would occur. I even tried Yelp ads because new businesses on Yelp get a free $300 credit for ads. And very quickly, I realized why Yelp has a $300 ad credit because Yelp ads suck. Finally, after weeks of tweaking and contacting Google support going back and forth, uh, we finally got our ads running. And within a few days, we got a call for the biggest job that we've had so far. We had a realtor call booking for a full package, which is photography, videography, drone, and virtual tour. And this was for a six bedroom, five bathroom house. I had a lot of fun doing this because it was by far the biggest house that we've done and the nicest house. And it was also a little bit stressful because I hadn't done all of the services that we provide all at once yet. So I was really hoping I had enough time to do all of it. By the last drone shots that I was taking, I was fighting the sunset, but overall I'm pretty happy with how all of the photos and the videos came out from this shoot. What you're looking at right now is a little bit of the walkthrough video that I did at this house. I think all the content that I got from this house is gonna be really great to show future realtors the type of work that I can do. So I'm really hyped on that one. And also during the past couple of months, I've got to work on a few commercial real estate shoots which I don't wanna to talk too much about in this video because they're all clients of my friend who is also part of this company. So can't take any credit for those, but I'll show you some of the photos from those shoots. Yeah, so overall things are happening with this business. Um, I'm pretty happy with some of the progress we've made in the past couple of months. I do wanna make a note before I end this video that I have made it look like in the past couple of months, it's all just been success after success. Um, but honestly, there's a lot of times where I feel like I'm just completely wasting my time and that I should move on to the next thing. But then I get a little taste a little chance of a good opportunity, a maybe from a huge client. Um, and that just reminds me that all it takes is a little bit more persistence and a good attitude and things will just get better and better from there. I've worked for small businesses for the past like three years or so. And if there's anything that I've learned is that a lot of times when you're beginning to grow, um, a lot of the work comes in spurts. You know, you might have a lot of work one week and then nothing for two weeks after that. And that's kind of just how it goes. It just takes patience and consistency and eventually you just start growing more and more. I also want to give a big shout out to some of the people that have been commenting on these videos, some really nice things. Um, they mean a lot to me. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you made it to the end, consider liking and subscribing. It's seriously appreciated. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.